So what I'm going to cover in this video is about the tentative dates of you know, KCT 2022 based on the last year, how was the schedule. Uh, the approx timetable I will share with respect to the exams which uh, it will it can have and uh, also courses and the eligibility. So, pura details is may cover hoga jo ki tentative dates, timetable, course or eligibility ke upar. So, let's start to the next uh, you know uh, 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 details about this. So, this is the timetable approximate timetable of the last year. So, if you see uh, you know from last year uh, th there was a notification first you know it's, it will start with the notification typically. And the last year the notification was around you know 15th of june for the publication and it was published in a ka website also it was got it got published in ka web newspaper so it, you will come from to know from that and what kes does is they will host an information bulletin on the ka website right so your information bulletin hai is may puri information rehti hai about ka complete process of examinations counseling payment of the fees and the rest of the part of the and then anything about the college you know you you want to know with respect to the college code and the courses right so ye ek, around 15th of june last year ye information bulletin release hua tha. Uske baad, there is a process of starting the filling of the application form so this will they started around 15th of june that is a tentative date for this year also and then they, they will set a last date to pay the application with the fees right and that was around july 13 so they give around 20 25 days to so that all the students from different parts of the you know karnataka state can actually fill the uh, application with the complete details right and then uh, the next step is about you know uh, corrections if something is there and once the correct and when the students are able to do the correction then there is a date of downloading the tickets so another few days they give for it and uh, so and and then we are in the august month right if you so last date for downloading tickets are very important and students should be able to get their admission tickets right which uh, they can attend them and then there is a date for Canada language test so this is only for two you know lo locations which is hornadu and uh, gadinadu for Canada for Canadica candidates right so they also have to give the Canada language test so that is also on criteria for them or uske baad hota hai verification of documents just agriculture quota ke liye uh, that becomes and those dates comes and then the date of practical examination right so uske baad end mein there is a which is the date for the exam itself right so which will be published later so this is approximate timetable which will be followed for this year and this is based on the information which was given last year right so let's move further right uh, isme common entrance exam CET jo hai uska approximate last year ka jo time date and time tha jisse aapko idea lagega the papers how they are conducted so last year it was on 28th of august which was on saturday so typically ye exam do uh, two uh, do day, uh, two days mein cover ho jata hai so if you see the timing there are two papers right and if you see the marks and the subjects also so if we start you know understanding ye kaisa hota hai, there will be mostly it is done on saturday and sundays right so that most of the students can appear for that and timing perspective agar dekhenge to uh, for example the first paper is biology first day you have a two papers biology and maths on the same day because you know there are two different timings so there are there will be few students who will be going for both the papers right because they are pcmb right and so they can give both the papers it is conducted on a uh, you know different slots right so my biology paper is done earlier and the timing was around 10 30 to 11 50 so if you see the timing the paper timing it was provided is you know 10 30 to you know around 1 hour 20 minutes total so that is uh, sorry 1 yeah, 1 hour 20 minutes for the biology paper so and you see the marks is around 60 marks right so all the papers are 60 marks and the second paper uh, on the same day was mathematics for mathematics students or right and then it is 2 30 pm to so you see approximately 1 hour 20 minutes is being provided for uh, the overall slash so when you are going to prepare for this examination right at a test paper at some later point of time then you have to prepare in this time slots right so so that you can practice this and you can manage a time better right so these are the first two papers and the next day then there is a common paper right so this is physics and chemistry so both the stream people students right which is from biology students or mathematics streams they both have this common paper which happens on the second you know 
next day right so here you see physics uh, uh, is you know in the morning slot and this uh, you know uh, your chemistry is in the evening this uh, schedule almost remains same only date changes but the timing subjects and marks remain similar thing right so this is just to give you an idea of how it has happened last year right and now if you move further right so this course kcet is a common exam for large number of courses in karnataka and then there's eight different categories right uh, which are there so i'm going to cover this you know what are the different type of students who can give this so you see the first category is the architecture course right that is equivalent to calling b arc right so those students are there and those students are uh, you know again you know uh, taken based on the second PUZ and the 12th standard or 10 plus 2 scheme marks right and the subjects they are supposed to pass with the physics chemistry and the maths right so that is the criteria for BR courses the criteria for determination of merit and rank list is also based on that they have to give additional paper either the NATA or JE paper 2 right and for admission rules so there's a complete detail about that but you know this is a, just an information that if you're architecture you have to also you know they consider JE paper 2 and all right the second course is the most prominent course of this KCET which is towards the engineering and the technology courses right so engineering course you get the degree called B and the technology is a BTEC degree again the similar co co you know, construct with the physics chemistry and maths language or you can also have a biotechnology uh, you know if you are going to for biology biology with biotechnology branch right so like that and then then the CET merit list is created right and so this is the second one now if you move to the next one right this is the one of the biggest uh, you know number of courses are covered in this category it's called the farm sciences courses right and there are a lot of degrees which get uh, you know allotted based on this right so you have a, a course for bsc agriculture or you know honors right so honors agriculture sericulture and specializations of horticulture forestry biotechnology and community sciences so these are bsc courses in the six different streams right आप इनमें से कोई भी स्ट्रीम्स में अपना बी कर सकते हैं और उसके एडमिशन प्रोसेस इस थ्रू दिस के राइट सो दिस इज बी एस ऑनर्स कोर्स फॉर दोस एग्रीकल्चर एंड मेनी रिलेटेड कोर्सेज नाउ देयर आर आल्सो यू नो बी टेक कोर्सेज सो स्टूडेंट्स हु वांट्स टू गो टू बी टेक इन द सिमिलर कोर्सेज देन देर इज एन ऑप्शन अवेलेबल फॉर बी टेक इन एग्रीकल्चर एंड इंजीनियरिंग राइट सो दैट कोर्स इज वेरी हाई इन डिमांड then there is a btech in food technology right this is also a course which is uh, well in demand and it is also a very good course btech in dairy technology you know so this uh, this is also very uh, good course and then the fisheries and the agro uh, you know ag right so there are a lot of options right you can uh, through this kct itself you can get and select and you can choose too many courses right when you are doing the uh, later you know the choices right so bsc options and the btech options and the similar uh, you know qualifications and the marks percentage you need to have in puc or the second 12th standard equivalent right so this is about the third course now coming to the next course you know which you can have the this through uh, you know is as a bachelor's of veterinary right so this there are two courses again bvsc bachelor's of veterinary science and the and you know uh, another one is ah right so animal husbandry so these two courses again as the go is is uh, admission admission is taken through kct right the next course in the list is a very also important course b pharma right so students who have passed with you know physics chemistry and um, biology or physics chemistry and maths are both eligible for participating in the b pharma courses so this is the next course and uh, if you go to the you know so the all the diploma student passed right they can also get directly admission into the second year of b pharma so this is a uh, uh, sixth line item right so those students are also eligible to write and they will write cet through this uh, and get admission to those courses then there is a diploma in pharma right pharma d courses right for the 12th uh, second puc 12th standard students they can do that and the duration is different so this also is part of kcet process and the last course on the list is a naturopathy and yoga right so this is also another uh, upcoming good course you know which is get, which is now there in different colleges uh, uh, right so and this is also which students can uh, take and this is going to be a good course you know because uh, yoga and, and natural sciences are going growing in a good 
way right so these are the eight courses which you can get admission through kct so KT, kct is not only about the engineering but it's our different streams of professional streams of uh, you know education which you can get through this right so this is uh, uh, so this is just a starting of my this series of videos i'm going to cover a lot of videos about how to prepare for each of these streams of kct uh, man of books syllabus and all those in the upcoming videos so this is just a start and uh, it is a good time that you have now at least you know six months more than six months to prepare for kct if you are in class 12th uh, student right and you should if you give a proper time uh, management and the trips uh, you learn you will be definitely able to score a very good marks right so i'll keep uh, you know talking about the different parts of it so please do keep uh, subscribe to this channel and uh, you will get a lot of information i'll run through the uh, you know pdfs which are there the last previous year's paper so that you also have a good information plus i will have covered the tips in you know, across the courses right so thank you for watching this and uh, uh, that's all i have uh, you know uh, let me know in case you have any other uh, questions and uh, I will reply to you. Thank you.